and welcome to a tutorial video don't my desktop is a mess just don't ask um <laughs> so into in this video where i'm going to be teaching you how to make a blender intro without a template just from scratch um i did a video on how to make one with the template but this is how to make it one without downloading the template or anything so first thing you want to do and i don't know why that's open um so you want to go to blender.org um and then download it do whatever you have to do to get it here or whatever um okay so let's just make minimize that um don't ask me why i have two versions of blender i don't know <laughs> okay so we're gonna open up blender and we'll x out of this and you'll see this which is the light source this is the camera and this is just like the default thing you want to just press x and delete that okay now you may be wondering it, it looks really blank and i don't like it actually you should probably delete the light source too go to this icon over here and then click on environment lighting and while we're at it let's just do the um the background color so i'm just gonna i i don't want to i'm just gonna do blue like a light blue i like that and the zenith color just in case like you want like a color like that see you can do that now if we hit the camera and then we hit render it'll look like that um it'll be in the camera's pers perspective <laughs> so now um what i like to do is i like to pull out this tab right here and now you have two um, things right here and press T to close this so now you go view and then I like to go camera for this one and then you press N and lock to camera view so now when we zoom in it's actually the camera that's zooming in as you can see on the left hand side okay so now you're thinking what are we gonna do with this so if you press spacebar and add text you're gonna want to click on that so now we have this um, and if you want it on the like green axis you press rotate Z and I like to do 90 to just um, just type in 90 it'll get it there and then left click not right click it'll get it back to its original spot if you right click okay so now we have it like this you want to tab backspace and then just type in whatever you want so I'll just deep in leather cow um it's and it's looking a little dull right now so you want to go to this font button and i like to extrude it which is making the thickness bigger or whatever so i'm going to do 0.2 enter and now you can see it's extruded more oh yeah and by the way to like move around like this you just have to press the middle mouse button um and if you don't um, have that then you go system um, where is it uh, I, didn't, I have no idea where it is oh I think it's in input oh yeah here so if you want to do emulate three mouse button and then save user settings so now you just click the scroll wheel and then you can move it around um, so now we have leather cow here um so what you want to do with this is you can go here click on the green thing to move it this way so i'm just going to move it that way a little it's looking a little dull right now so you go here again and then you click on this regular font you click on a file now what you can do is you can go to this uh website called defont.com they have a bunch of um fonts you can download i don't know why i just put them in my applications and I really like this one this is the one I use for my intro now so here it is it's like um 8-bit kind of thing pixelated so yeah now we have this and what to add color to it you go to this um, circular thing right here and you click new then you click on this diffuse under diffuse you'll see this so you want to do this and if you go down here it makes it super dark if you go up here it makes it lighter i'm just actually gonna change it to red because i know we have a green background 
So I'm just gonna do that. Um, one a little lighter. There we go. So now I have that. Oh, and I like to have it standing up. So I'm gonna click rotate on the X axis. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> um, rotate on the Y axis. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. So then you wanna just ro oh, oh, I messed up. <laughs> um, let's do this. Rotate and then press Y. And then you can rotate it up. So now that we have that, I want to move this down a little. Um, so now that we've done that, you may be wondering how you move the camera and how you get it to like move with this. So what you want to do is you want to right click whatever you want to move. So I'm going to right click the camera right now. And then I'm going to go to object, animation, insert keyframe, and visual location rotation scale, which is, in short, it's visual, and then L-O-C, R-O-T, and then scale. So that's what you're gonna have to do. So, yeah, so now we have it in this position. And if you, you want it to move here, you're gonna move it here. Um, first, you're gonna move it to, like, however long you want it to move there, if that makes any sense. Uh, it'll make sense when um, I show it. So you're gonna move it here, and then make it, maybe you wanna zoom in, so I'm just, I'm just gonna zoom in a little. Um, oh yeah, if you press shift, and then the middle mouse button, you could just move like this. Okay, so there. And so now we have it on the 30 frame. So object, animation, enter keyframe, visual location, rotation scale. And as you can see, if we go play animation, it moves from there to there in that amount of time. So, now that we've done that, I wanna do something with the text. So I'm gonna click on the text, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go, uh, first I need to get in the first position, and then I don't want it to move until 40, um, or 35. So I'm gonna go animation, insert keyframe, visual location, rotation scale, it's so about full. <laughs> And then from here to, uh, let's say 70. So from here to here, I want the text to scale. So I want it to get bigger. And then object there. Okay, so now that we've done that, and then, so now you can see, if I play the animation, it gets bigger. And so now I want it to get smaller. So I'm just gonna go from here to, let's say here. So Oh yeah, you press S, and sometimes it does that, so you just do start zero. I don't know why it does that, so S for scale, and then just scale it down, or, and then I'm gonna, I wanna rotate it on the Z axis. So, oh, rotate it Z, there we go. So now that we've done that, I want, ooh, no, I don't wanna click on snap. There we go. So now if we play the animation, we can just see it's pretty cool and then let's say we want it back in just the regular position road R so press R Z um, come on R okay there we go Z and we just put it back in the regular position uh, there we go uh, and let's say we want the camera to zoom through the letters so we right click on the camera this is the camera remember and then we want to go um, let's put it here. And in case you don't know why I'm doing this, it's so it doesn't do anything from um, it doesn't do anything thing from 30 to 120. Because if you don't put anything between this and then you do something, it'll do it from 30 to whatever you put that. So I'm just gonna go 150, then zoom in a little, just a little. <laughs> um, there we go, and then. I wanna get it through this hole right here. So I'm gonna shift, middle mouse button, shift, middle mouse button. Oh, uh, dang it. Sometimes that happens with me. It's just what happens sometimes. And then, okay. Now I wanna do that again. And at two, um, 210, I want it to zoom in more until it's out of the letters. So here, let's see how it looks. 
Okay, it's looking good. And it zooms in. There we go. Okay, so now what do you do with this? Um, first, I'm going to end it at 210. So uh, you um, click end over here and 210. There we go. Now that I've done that. Oh. Okay. So now that I've done that, what you want to do is for mine, I have QuickTime Player on my computer. So I want to go here, QuickTime, which is the file. Um, or actually, I'm going to go AVI JPEG, so it's better quality. It may take a little longer to render, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to save it to YouTube stuff and accept that. Okay. Now, um, first, um, let's go here. It actually looks this. I I suggest this font. Um, I don't. Just go to like block or pixelated, and it should come up with this in one of the fonts. So if you click on render, you get to see what it looks like at that frame. Oh, actually, hold on. I like to do this. Add plane or no, not path plane. So you can add a plane. Um, let's scale it. Um, and then rotate it on the z-axis. So it's like this. Scale it. So, oh no. Scale it. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Gr um. <laughs> I'm gonna make it orange. Perfect. Okay, so now it looks like it's on like a floor. Um, I th or um, you can do it so that he um, escape, right click on the plane, um, go to this the coloring thing. I like to mirror it. So you click on mirror. And I like to do it like 0.5. So yeah, it does that. Then if you render it. It's a, like a mirror. Um, I think that's a cool thing you can do. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, hope you have this. Oh, yeah. Um, and then when you want to finish it and render it into the folder, just click on Render and Render Animations. There we go. <coughs> I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment on... Oh, yeah. For the next Blender tutorial... I'm going to be doing how to put your actual Minecraft world that you can go into in Minecraft, how you can put that in Blender. That's how I did my um, newest intro. It's pretty cool. Um, kind of hard, but pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment what I should do next on either Blender or anything else that you really want to see. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed, guys. Goodbye.